Hi everyone, my name is Kim and today I'm going to show you how to make some pom-pom cat bolts. So this is a really fun and easy craft to do. Uh, all you're going to need are some craft sticks. You can get these at a dollar store or um, any craft store. Um, or if your family eats a lot of popsicles, you can just save and wash those sticks. Um, you're going to need some rubber bands, at least four of them. Um, and you're going to need a plastic spoon or um, some glue and like the cap of an old bottle. Uh, so to make this craft, what you'll do is take about, um, I would say eight or so of these craft sticks, um, and hold them together, and then you're going to use your bands um, to lash them together. So I've got one more band here. I'm going to wrap them around this end. I'm just going to do this one really quickly, and then I'll explain what I'm doing. Um, and then you're going to take your other rubber band and wrap it around the other end. So what I did is I take my rubber band, I've opened it really big, I've put it on the bottom stick here, and I've twisted, and I've twisted, and wrapped. So you're going to continuously twist and wrap that rubber band around your sticks. Uh, so then in the end, I get this really secure kind of grouping of sticks. And then depending on what you have, the cap and the glue or the, or the plastic spoon, um, you'll, you might do a couple different things here. You're going to need either way an extra craft stick. You would place that one on the bottom. And then you'd either put your plastic spoon on top or if you are using the um, stick with the cap version, you would put that on top. And I'll use that one because I've already got a spoon example here. So I've got my stick on the bottom, my grouping of sticks, and then my stick with a glued on cap. And you want to make sure that that cap is all the way dry. The glue on the bottom there is all the way dry. So I've got my pieces. I've got them together like a little cross. I'm going to take another band and open it up really big and wrap it around on the diagonal, those two crosses. I'm going to wrap it twice in one direction. Then I'm going to twist and go in a different direction. So I've got two wraps um, on both in both directions, this cross and this cross. All right, now there's one more step. I'm going to take next another rubber band, my last rubber band, and I'm going to put together these two bottom sticks, and I'm going to twist those around as tightly as I can. All right, so now I have my grouping of sticks in the middle, one on the bottom, and then one on the top with my glued-on cap, and my catapult, believe it or not, is done. So now I can take a pom-pom or I could use a piece of wadded up paper, um, whatever you kind of like that's not going to be uh, damaging in any way. If you use your ammunition, I'm going to put it in that cap. I'm going to press down a little bit and boom, I've got a little pom-pom uh, shooting off into space there. So there's a couple different varieties here. The spoon one and the cap one, they both work really well. Um, so it kind of comes down to a matter of preference or a matter of what you have on hand. Um, the other thing I wanted to say about these is my craft sticks, they're pretty boring. They're just plain wood. You can decorate these with um, permanent markers or with paint. Um, that's an option for you. Um, and of course, if you do use like old popsicle sticks um, that you've cleaned off, you might definitely, you think you definitely would want to decorate them to some degree so that they don't look like um, old used sticks. Um, so that, there you have it. That's the pom pom catapult. I hope that you enjoy this and um, have a lot of fun.